The following segment is sponsored by Prime Capital Investment Advisors. Jason Noble, along with Joe Harris, join us with the expert insight on private investments. Good to have you both here with so us. Good. I mean, coming in from Kansas City, talking all the strategies and everything that is going on. Let's start off with uh, why do you need to work with a fiduciary advisor? First, tell the folks exactly what a fiduciary is and why do you need to work with a fiduciary advisor? I'll tackle the fiduciary part. A fiduciary advisor has a legal obligation to do what's in your best interest, mm -hmm. the client's best interest, not in their own. The other standard is called suitability standard, and that standard is just simply put, mm -hmm. at the time of the recommendation, the investment was suitable. The fiduciary standard is an ongoing uh, responsibility throughout the entirety of the relationship. Mm -hmm. But why would someone need to work with a fiduciary? Yeah, usually most of the times what I'm seeing in the marketplace is folks are making recommendations for investments. Sometimes they could be laden in commissions, they could have extra fees. And, and really our job is, as a true fiduciary is to put you in the right investment no matter, no matter what the, what the it's going to be like the, the investment yeah. that's based off of your financial plan, sure. right? Yeah. Not just a product. Sure. There's too many people in the industry that just talk about products. Most mm -hmm. likely they're going to be a suitable, mm -hmm. held to the suitability standard. Fiduciary, it's a how do you encompass everything when yeah. it comes to the finances. Because as a fiduciary, when your client is making money, you're making money too. When your client might not be making money, you're not making any money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, well, it puts us on the same side of the table with the client. The same sure. side of the table. I like yeah. that. I yeah. like that. We're going into an election year. Uh, if you don't know that already, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's all the advertising. And with the election year, there's all kinds of emotions that are going on. Mm. Why does somebody need to look at both the public and the private sector for investments? <clears throat> Well, I'll, I'll start with the definition. A public market is what everybody's exposed to. It's the New York Stock Exchange. Sure. It's the S&P 500, the Russell 2000, right? Mm -hmm. That's a public market. Private markets are done uh, from businesses that are not publicly traded. Mm -hmm. But what we see is it helps with risk and return for mm -hmm. the overall portfolio and strategy. Mm -hmm. But Joe, like I know you help a lot of clients on the private market space as well. What is your insight? Yeah, I mean, this year especially is important. The geopolitical risk in the public markets today is is extreme. Like it just, you don't know what's going to happen yeah. with this election cycle. I mean, between on both sides of the aisle. And so for mm -hmm. us, we can go we can go into the private space, take all those risks off the table, and still produce you know mm -hmm. outsized returns. In, in a lot of cases, especially on the fixed income side, we have a lot of access to different investments that very steady returns. Mm -hmm great income replacements without taking on whatever's happening in Russia, Ukraine, whatever's happening in our, sure. in our neck of the woods. So it's, it's, it's very important. You use the term plural of investments and not investment. So we're talking about a number of investments. So to me, that's saying we're diversifying our income. We're diversifying not only uh, maybe some of the incomes coming in, but yeah. more so the investments and where they're going. A absolutely. We have, yeah. I mean, again, is our firm but as a fiduciaries like we have access to s multiple double digit different types of private investments mm -hmm. that we can diversify a portfolio with and the private investments could be catered to your risk tolerance and the risk capacity yeah. of the yeah. financial plan mm -hmm. so this is not being discussed quite a bit and so talking last night with joe he was like no we got to talk about this when we meet with you today yeah a lot of people i'm i'm retired military air force uh get that pension get the try care for life it's great uh, Amen. Um, but we are in a military environment not only with so many military people being here so yeah. many military people being retired but the military going on, on all around the world and making support how does all of this encompass that well how i being raised in a military family both uh -huh. my parents served in the navy mm -hmm. i was born on a naval base mm -hmm. so discipline was part mm -hmm. of the of the process i would think so oh absolutely <laughs> and i better know how to fold a sheet but like all i'm getting at is like you bring that into yeah. the practice every day yeah. so that you have discipline in the, in the and you're you're consistent Mm -hmm. and how you deliver the value to your clients. Mm -hmm. But I got to turn over to Joe. He joined the Air Force at 19 years old, 22 years yes, of sir. service. Right on. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I didn't hear you answer that uh, question. Well, it's, you know, I spent 22 years active duty. Uh, My wife spent 20, so oh, our wow. that's all our family understands. It's called is double, that dipping, double, we know. double dipping, as we know. Double dipping in the tri-care. It's all good. In the tri-care for life. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's, it, is, it is who I am. Yeah. Like, it's, it, it's yeah. I was a mortuary officer my last 10 years, <laughs> and so that discipline and what was required, like, that, that's what I bring every day. And so like, you know, it's just doing the right thing by people, doing it right every single mm -hmm. day. And you know, if you do that, you can help a lot of folks. Yeah, appreciate your mom and dad's service, your service. I've never met a mortuary officer and I'm sure Dover was pretty much home base for you. Do Dover <laughs> was part of what we did for yeah. sure. Yeah, fa fantastic. Yeah. You're in town for a few more days. You guys are having some meetings, some dinners and so forth. Give these folks a call. They know exactly what they're talking about and they can lead you right in the right direction as being that fiduciary. We're back with more Low Country Live right after this. Stay with us.